It's Ohio Valley Conference football on ESPN+. Plus. It's a good one today. Number six in the nation, Southeast Missouri, travels north up I-55 to St. Charles, Missouri, the home of the Lindenwood Lions. For Coach Matukowicz and his staff. And here we go, we're underway. Short kickoff, picked up at the 10 and uh, brought down Rubel on the return. And a good return and a good saw. Lindenwood has to take that away. Delarant with the handoff, straight up the gut, close to a first down and a fumble. We got a fumble, the Lindenwood Lions say they have it. The Lions say they have it. Coming out of there, it's Wingate. Oh, wow. Lindenwood's able to force a mistake. What was the key for Simo? They had to play clean. The ball's wet, but Jordan Kanapke is able to force the fumble with the shoulder pads. Four, but they'll bring that edge rusher up almost all the time. In the pocket, it breaks down, and Nate is thrown for a loss back to the original line of scrimmage. When it broke down, it broke 48-yarder. Logan Seibert, he's only missed two all year, and that one's blocked at the line of scrimmage. Recovered in the defensive backfield, and he could go all the way, but run out of bounds. It was Leonard who got that deflected field goal attempt and ran it back, and here come the Red Hawks. At a scoreless tie, and how about Patty Turner for the Lindenwood Lions saving what would have been a touchdown? Yeah, Patrick. One of our favorite guys, the Australian, he did not give up on the play. And if he doesn't get there, motion. De Laurent is ready. Deep drop, throws off his back foot, throws long. That was a desperation throw looking for Cam Pedro. It was Gant on. Bodies to run through. Now Jones in the backfield. The give is to Cortez. Oh, found a big hole. Across the 25-yard line, close to the 27, it'll be a first down. That hole opened up beautifully. Saw those backers and those safeties take a step towards the line of scrimmage. Third and a short one. Cortez Jones, keeper by Glantz. First down to the 40-yard line. Glantz remains one of the best. Jeff Caldwell, slot, cuts across the middle. Not much time, it breaks down again. Nate's going to try and keep it that is not going to work very often. Great, great pressure again. Who else? The Norman Invasion does it again, and they bring him down the third and eight. Stack here at the bottom. And at the top. Now in motion goes Cam Pedro. He goes to the slot. Keep an eye on him. De Laurent to the near side. Catch has been made. Short of the first down for is the running back. Lance wants to throw across the middle. It's complete to the tight end. First down plus yardage and brought down. And we got a fumble. Another fumble. Lindenwood says they have it back. We shall see. Riddick was in on the tackle. Fakes to Giamo. Has Abe Harrigan completing the first down across midfield to the 41. <laughs> you, got, you got to love that. Go right back to him. He has played Not left. They have trips on the left side, two on the right side. Nate Glantz wants to throw a quick out there for Rico Bond, but he'll come up short of the first down. So again, touches for the freshman in space, and I like this call. Glantz has some time, pocket breaks down, throws on the run, and almost threw it away. That is a very, very tough throw, and Lindenwood will turn it. Laurent throws across the middle. Oh, it's complete, and a big catch by Anderson. Dorian Anderson, first down and into Lindenwood territory. Handoff fake. Wants some big yardage. Nope, comes underneath. Catch by Tristan Smith. One of those three great receivers and another first down. Third and six. Back to throw, across the middle, caught and dropped short of the first down. What a tackle by Johnson. Terrific play, Jaden Johnson. 
DC Pippen for the field goal. 39 yarder. Snap back, ball down. The kick is up. It's high enough. It's long enough. And it is good. And Simo breaks the ice. Here in the second quarter, they get on top three, nothing. Second and eight. Rolling right. Throwing on the run into traffic, and it is picked off with an unbelievable play by Riddick. Advised decision made by Glance, but let's just give Riddick a little bit of praise here. This is an incredible interception with one hand, a real play. Smith is the setback. DeLaurent wants to throw. He does to the sideline. It's complete short of the first down. That was Dorian Anderson on the catch. These teams have truly taken that, that name and that distinction to heart. Great Bob's pass act. across the middle. Caldwell under duress. He came down hard. I think the tackler. Pocket breaks down. Nate Glantz in some trouble. Throwing on the run, but this time he's got Jeff Caldwell. How far can he go inside the 30, still on his feet to the 24 yard line? What a run after the catch. It was a tremendous foot race. Simo brings a cat corner blitz from the near side of the field. They're under pressure immediately. They've got more than they can block and when that corner blitz doesn't get home and you allow the quarterback to break contain, that's exactly what can happen. Jones. Behind glance, Nate wants to throw. He wants the end zone. He's got a man. Crowbath, touchdown! Drew Crowbath! And the Lions go on top! Ty Leonard in coverage has to run with him across the field one-on-one. -on -one. That ball is out the second he's out of his break. And a great job by Crowbath to go and high point it and wall off the defender. For the point after, Cyber drills it. And the Lions go on top of the red. So easy to create contact and commit the foul there. Heady play by Patrick. Little fake handoff. And then a dump off and some open space. Here they go. One man to beat and then cut from behind was Daryl Smith. What a terrific play as he flipped it to him. And Smith had nothing but green grass. They'll try him again. This with a handoff. Another big hole opens up and another first down for Daryl Smith. Each of these off. Third and five. They're going to go to Smith again. Oh, he's stacked up at the line. Huge play. Zach Lewis, one of the five. It'll be a 47-yard attempt in the rain. The kick is up. It's high enough. Is it long enough? It is good. That's a tremendous field goal. 47 yards, and it's a 7-6. Lindenwood, 4 of 7. They'll try and go 5 of 8 here. Give to Steve Hall. He's got the first down. He's got running room. Steve's got one man to beat. It's a foot race. Hall heads for the corner. 10-5, finally tripped up at about the 7. Whoa, what a run by Steve Hall on the Jerry Rice watch list. And guess what? We're watching. Another long one for number 22. Sets Lindenwood up with a chance to go up by multiple scores. So often on short yardage, you're so preoccupied with stopping them from gaining 18 inches, as you put it. Steve wants to take it again. Just across the line of scrimmage, he stacked up. That was well defended. Lance wants to throw, men down in the end zone. We're gonna have flags as they took Caldwell down. Glantz saw that, Zach, and that- Beat and tackled Caldwell. It was intentional. <laughs> Lindenwood was gonna score a touchdown. And Glantz, Caldwell in motion. The give to Hall, got a block. Legs churning, getting close and thrown down. He got inside the five. We'll see where they actually mark it. Malai Walt from the four. Hall behind the lead block. He got blasted, waylaid by Brown. He tackled him high. Oh, Caldwell on a little pitch, leaps a tackler and into the end zone for six. Jeff Caldwell, a hop, skip and a jump into the end zone.
He came in motion, and sure enough, he was the man. This is why sticking with the run game is so important. They've brought Caldwell in motion several times throughout this first half. They did on that second down play and gave it to Steve Hall. And he had an easy walk into the end zone. And Logan Seibert drills the point after. It's in the kneel down formation. And there we go. Strong finish this game. Many of us, I think, thought Zach figured to be set up to be a shootout kind of game. Reason as the season has gone on, but clearly they have played with the same energy they did on opening kickoff against Kansas, and it has really showed. And uh, back into the end zone, Blaylock. Bath wide right, double tight ends, Crowbath in motion. Give to Hall, there's no hole. He's trying to bull his way through. He does, gets the first down across the 40 to the 41. That is big time running by Steve Hall. Riddick, question 10. Caldwell in motion. Fake the handoff, nice block by Hall. Pocket breaks down, glance on the keeper. Little stutter step across midfield. Close but short of the first down to the 49. Heads back and says something to Steve Hall. Says, I'm going to give it to you again, big boy. Spins inside. Gain maybe a yard before he's thrown back. That was a Red Hawk brick wall. Cook on the tackle. Proboth in the slot on the right side. They look to throw. Glance in trouble. Escapes the tackle for loss, but then falls forward to the 45. And Simo has really turned up the defensive heat. Cook on that tackle. Happened today. DeLaurent wants to throw, third and 10 to the sideline. It's complete, and they run Tristan Smith out of bounds. Jaden Patrick on the coverage. Motion. No trickery there. Playing it straight. Fair catch called for and made. Nicely done. Good job by Taylor Blaylock. Comes the running back. He'll get this series. They fake the handoff. Glance in trouble, throws and completes it on the sideline. And we've got flags. John Anthony made the catch, got roughed up a little bit. Bad mistake by some. Mm -hmm. Lindenwood playing two tight ends a lot of the time. Personal foul. Take a look, you'll see the foul. Additions. Keeper by Glantz this time, and a great fake. He's going to bust it open. Nate Glantz into the end zone, and the Lions score six. They bit on the fake, Zach. He faked it to Jones. They were ready for Cortez. They were not ready for Nate. Into the end zone. High snap. Logan Seibert says, no problem. And the Lions score their third touchdown and go up 21-6 over the blanket. Here's the big play. You can see Glantz eyed that crease on the key. Third and five, Simo desperate to convert here. They have not been good today on third down conversions. Broken up again. What a play by Blaylock. They broke it up. And they brought the heat again. That was two down. Abe Hare in motion. Oh, big blitz and a fumble, and Simo takes over. Just when you thought you were in control, the turnover department rears its ugly head. But Simo says this is a beautiful play. Take a look. Big hit. Set it up. McCoy Casey comes around the far side, and he doesn't ever get touched by the left tackle, Gareth Warren. Lindenwood has trouble sorting it out. McCoy Casey does a great job of tackling the football. Change the momentum of the game. Can they make it pay off? Taking the shot downfield as you predicted. It's caught. It's caught. What a play by Tristan Smith and a great throw. You called it earlier. It's a back Trey Bell. And it's going to be a keeper. DeLaurent stacked up short of the end zone or is he in? Let's see. It is a touchdown. The Red Hawks come roaring back. And in just a couple of plays, this game has completely flipped on its head. 
He goes in motion. DeLaurent wants to throw. Tons of time. Broken up. And picked off. No. <laughs> but broken up nonetheless. It was nearly caught. It Gant was nearly caught. Gant would have. We've seen, seen him come up with some big plays. Here comes the pressure. He's throwing long. He has Crowbar. They might get a flag. They do. They might get a flag. They do. Leonard got caught. Call by the lead referee. They're going to run. What? I'm your side. Tight end Abe Hare tight on the right side. Now Crobath goes in motion. The give the hall that was well read. He had nowhere to go. Tried to cut it back and the defense smothered him. And a loss on the play. Casey the main man there. McCoy can Blow them down. Pedro in motion. He's one of their main targets. The Laurent to keep. Fakes. He's hit at the 40 and at the 41 he's dropped. Gain of about two feet on the play and it's fourth down. Lindenwood receivers wear gloves. Glance to throw. Under duress. Throws. Is it? Good? No, he couldn't hang on. Look for Caldwell. Not a bad throw, but couldn't hang on in the rain. Where's the one on one? Got to see if you can find that. That's what he's looking for right now. DeLaurent has plenty of time, and it's caught on a first down. Too much time. Outst about that, Rammer. Here's the play. Third and six. Throws it across the, and through the hands. Not only would that have been a first down, Tristan Smith had wide open green. Owner Simo was all over it, so Linwood's gonna have to attack them differently. Glance in trouble. Can he keep it? He throws on the run. It's complete to the tight end. Fugit, first down plus. What a huge play across the 40 to the 44-yard line. A huge third and seven. Caldwell wide to the left side. Kroboth, slot right. Throwing long. Throwing it up. It's a jump ball. It is broken up. Terrific coverage on the play by Degra. Field. DeLaurent wants to throw, flushed out, still in his own end zone, down the sideline, overthrown, overthrown. Incomplete, and they'll kick it away. Fine. Blaylock on the coverage. Catch made at the 35, still on his feet. Blaylock turns the corner, beats another defender, and wow. drives to the 20-yard line. What a return. Caldwell wide to the right side. Hall in the backfield. Fugit to block. The keeper turning the corner is Glance to the 10, the 5, and he's brought down. First down, Nate Glance. The edge. Good call by the officials. It comes at a tough time for Lindenwood. Nate Glance wants to keep, drives forward. Across the 15 to the 14, it'll be fourth down, fourth and five. Norman again on the tackle. Decision time here for Lindenwood. 33 yard attempt. Snap back, ball down, kick is up. It is good! Seibert with another field goal. He keeps rolling them up this year, Zach Zook. Seibert is a tremendous weapon and he makes it 24. But this feels like a make or break play right here. And they got a, drew a flag, they drew a man, and they're throwing long anyway. Almost picked off, terrific coverage on Dorian Anderson, but it'll be a flag against Lindenwood. It'll, that was a free play. They got Lindenwood to jump, so this will be third down and five and a little bit more. Now third and five. DeLauren to throw, has plenty of time. Great coverage, and it's complete for the first down. Boy, the, uh, as they went to Donnie Cheers, his first cat coverage in the back, must play now for Simo. Number six, Simo, they're gonna keep it and run it. DeLauren for the first down, slips a tackle. He gets the first down and makes a huge play. No, they're gonna mark it short. But of course, it's fourth down territory, six. 
Steps back, heavy pressure, slips the tackle, wants to throw long, a wobbly pass, coming back to intercept. Broken up. Broken up. Unbelievable coverage. Eric Gant. He almost picked it off, laying flat on the ground, Zach. Caldwell in motion, the flip to Jeff, turns the corner, got some space, still on his feet, one man to beat, and he gets across the 20 to the 16 yard line. Jeff Caldwell, what a play. Casey on the tackle. Third and five. Cortez breaks one tackle, drags another Red Hawk with him to the 10, but just short of the first down. They're actually gonna mark it at the 11. Yep, you can win it right here. Caldwell runs through, Cortez Jones keeps it, dives forward. We'll, we'll see where the mark is. I don't think so. I think he might be inches short. Paxson DeLaurent. Wants to throw as a man on down the middle. And it's picked off! Picked off! Gant with the interception! Ball game! Lindenwood upsets the sixth ranked team in the nation in their rivalry game in the Ohio Valley Conference. Ball game at Lindenwood. But the rivalry doesn't mean as much as the statement made by Lindenwood. Oh, and Coach Stugart is already soaking wet, so he got, he got the shower. And that's the ball game. And Lindenwood has upset number six, Simo, and made a statement in the Ohio Valley Conference. Well, Coach Stugart said in interviews throughout the week, it's not really a rivalry until both teams win. It's a rivalry now. Unbelievable. What a terrific victory. There's head coach Jed Stugart. Looking for his counterpart. That's a tremendous football game in a season that has been full of ups and downs for the Lions. Games they felt like they should have performed much better in and came up short. Some games they won and won big. But Jed Stugart told us all along he was looking at the last two games of the season 